And of course, your relationship with Mercedes extends to your work with McLaren, um, trying to make Jensen's and Lewis's F1 cars go quicker. More of the same in 2012? Uh, yes, yes. So um, we're still working in very integrally with McLaren, trying to develop the new uh, MP4 27 into a race winner and championship challenger, hopefully. I mean, we didn't have the best of years last year, but, uh, you know, however bad we start a season, we always seem to be able to win races and compete during the season. So if we can start this year, um, obviously a lot further up than we did last year, but if we can start this year at the front, hopefully challenging for race wins, we can certainly keep that up and challenge for the championship. It's not going to be easy. I mean, Red Bull have been on sensational form in the last two years, but um, certainly that's our aim is to be fighting for race wins from the start. Is it slightly frustrating that in, I think, two of the past three seasons, McLaren started slowly and the car's been a bit of a pig at the beginning and then it's suddenly come tearing up and, and it's ended up being the fastest thing out there. If you could just start, you could just get the car better earlier You'd, yeah. you'd be in a better position. Absolutely. I think we've, uh, you know, all the teams have very, very clever uh, engineers and designers. And sometimes where you go through a, a path of development because you're so, you're so free in F1 to do what you want. So you go down a path that you think is working. You try every different avenue you think. You go down a path you think is working. And then once you get committed to it, it's very difficult to back out of it. So you sort of persist with that. And then we got to the first test of last year and it clearly wasn't working. So we had to... Uh, change it completely before the first race, which the team did an amazing job to change it and get to, to a car that was, that was very quick at Melbourne. Um, but as you say, we need to, we need to start the year um, further up because I think we, we have, McLaren have the best ability to improve a car and develop a car through the season. So if we can start close to the guys at the front or just in front, we can certainly keep that up for the whole year. Well, you're obviously doing something right because they, uh, they won six races between them last year, so it wasn't all bad. Um, I, I think one thing I got told was the, the, the last time we actually won six races in a year was when we won the championship in 2008. So we've never won more races than six in a year. So we had a lot of success last year, but um, we lost a lot of points because, uh, because of certain things, because of mechanical failures, which we had too many of, and um, maybe a few, a few driver errors. Well, the feud between Massa and Lewis didn't help us. So Just those pesky fizzy drinks from Milton Keynes you've got to catch, isn't it? Yes, I mean, they've been incredible since they... Uh, sort of took Adrian Newey from us uh, and in 09, I think it was, or 08. Uh, certainly, they've been developing the car and they've got better and better year on year. 2010, they had an incredibly fast car, but a really unreliable car, and they, they were losing points hand over fist. And they just about won the, uh, won the championship. But certainly, um, last year, they fixed their reliability problems. You know, They had a very fast car, they had a very reliable car. And uh, they were pretty much unbeatable at most races. I think they, they only lost one pole position, which is pretty incredible. So it's, um, it's going to be a tough fight. But um, certainly, you know, we're hoping that uh, we can really start very strongly.